are the team Ikra AIA. We are from Medellin, Colombia, and we have students from five different universities of the city. We have divided the team in five different subgroups that those are electronic, software, mechanics, science, and marketing. This is our first year in the competition, and we are working in the project Tasakoa. This year, the science team has the mission of detecting existing, extinct, or non-existing life in a specific place in the desert. For this, a rover is equipped with a modular base integrated by Seleno valves that allow the supply of reagent and material collected in the field to the 16 test tubes that compose it. The trees were selected for detecting the presence of lipids, protein, and organic matter. This requires heating and shaking processes to obtain results, so it was necessary to integrate three motors and an electrical resistance that allowed the previous procedures. For the analysis, we have a GoPro camera and gas sensors, both instruments integrated into the software. Finally, and one of the key points is the robotic arm with a special grip system for the collection of samples. There is a specific schedule for sub-teams meetings. Leads have to organize the daily work and the weekly goals. Besides, leads have virtual meetings every day where advances, problems and changes are shared. AI University let us use the laboratories, of course, with some restrictions, like the maximum number of people in every place. The electronics team was focused on the distribution of power to the rover and the communications between the control elements together with the power systems. A Pixhawk 4 was chosen to communicate the six DC motors to the autonomous travel system that we're using called um, Mission Planner. And we're also using four separate motors to, connected to an Arduino Mega located in the rover. Alright then, the software team has been taking care of three major tasks, navigation, artificial vision, and the development of a mission control station. In the navigation area, we've chosen to use a Pixhawk 4 so that we could take advantage of its sensors and use all of the output data to facilitate the non-automated navigation of the rover. For collision avoidance, we'll be running a TensorFlow model, which will take care of object detection, and an OpenCV-based model that will detect AR tags from up to 21 meters away, with both of them being run on a Jetson Nano. Furthermore, for autonomous navigation, we'll use the AI to detect obstacles so that the rover can alter its own path and keep sailing smoothly through the dunes. Lastly, the rover's got a mildly complex comms device consisting of XP antennas and a Hearlink transmission device, so that we can have complete control over the rover and its arm for mission control. Talking about the mechanics of the rover, we divide our work in three main groups. The chassis group, the arm group, and the traction group. For the chassis, we uh, decide to use an improved version of the rocker body suspension, which, which is divided in three parts and each of them works completely autonomous from the other ones. The arm is an open source model that will make some modification for adjusting to our rover. It has 5 degrees of freedom, it uses gearboxes for being able to lift up to 6 kilograms, and we will use two different grippers. One of them was designed for the science mission. 